Okay, okay. Dion back. We're finally here. We are at Nationals. NPC Universe. Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm literally less than 24 hours out until I step on stage. And um, I can't wait. I'm like crazy, excited, a little bit of nervous, a little bit of anxious. Already checked in. I got the uh, number 252. It was random, class F or H, I forgot. But I clocked in at 6-1. So yeah, that should be fun. But right now we are at um, the hotel, not the host hotel, we had to get a different hotel. And let me tell y'all, like it's beautiful. Like I'm gonna try to show y'all right now. Like I had no idea that like South Carolina like had palm trees and like down there you can't see but it's a nice pool waterfront and everything but it's actually very beautiful and it just happened to rain when i decided to come out here and finally start filming but besides that like the weather everything it's almost like florida like i never knew south carolina was like that. but anyway we're about to go get my tan that's at 7 30 and then uh i start like my real carb up during that time too i'll go and i'll have uh a burger and fries, no ketchup, not gonna do a bunch of condiments. And then um, after that, come back to the crib, to the hotel. I'm gonna do a cream of rice and eggs, that'll be my last meal. I'm gonna cut off water at like 10, so I could wake up and be dry and look good. And in the morning, can't wait because I get three pancakes, like last time, and I do my, I think I had two eggs, three pancakes, two eggs. So yeah, can't wait for that. But anyway, I want to get this tan. I want to get this burger. Are we wait for him. Or I'm not. Yeah, we just finished the tan. Sort of tan, not on my face, but I'm tan. Look at that lighting. But anyway, got the menu for the burger. Pop up starts now. We get the classic, no cheese, double burger, fries, no ketchup. I want to add all that good stuff in tomorrow, but now it's just a matter of getting the carbs and stuff in right now. Yeah. Oh my god. So we are back. Today is the day. The morning of the show. It's about 6, 6.05 right now. Prejudging is at 10, so right now. I am about to whip up uh, breakfast. Um, I get three eggs and I get uh, three pancakes and uh, show you how. And this is what I have right now. If, you, uh, if you're doing shows or whatever and you don't wanna buy stuff, just bring like your cooking skillet, your stove burner or whatever. And honestly, like I, I didn't want to pay for food, right? And then only way I know how to make pancakes is on this thing for some reason. Like I can't do it in a pan with the stove. It's just, it just doesn't work. Oh, well, but it, it just doesn't work for me. So I used the skillet thing. So I'm about to whip that up and I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get breakfast going. <laughs> Finish. Just made my breakfast up. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, chef. So, I'm gonna eat this breakfast, get it down. I got a, a small cup of coffee with me. I'll probably just take a, a few sips of this to help get it down and to help dry out, pee more, so I got more of a dry look on stage. But uh, I'm about to eat this. I'm watching the Olympic gymnast trials. And uh, so I eat this, and then in about two hours, hour and a half, I'll start with the rice cakes. Just constantly eating the dry carbs, dry carbs, dry carbs. And then like before stage, I'll do like something sweet. Like I got candy bars, peanut M&Ms to really get that veininess out to get, you know, you know what sugar does to the physique. So that's the plan right now. I wanna eat this and then prejudging at 10. So I'm gonna try to get that at nine because like these shows are never like the way they should be. So just be safe, be there at nine and I will see ya. Yeah.
So, uh, finish up with prejudging. Which, yo, honestly, so I didn't get first call outs, right? But it's like people in first call outs, like I look fucking 10 miles ahead of way better. Like I don't understand this shit. First show, I got fucking robbed. This show, kind of the same shit happened. I hate to be on here, sound like a fucking loser ass, sorry ass bitch. But like, yo, at least make it like warranted. Like I'm gonna show y'all pictures and shit, but like at least make it make sense. It don't make sense. Like, yo, I come in, I spent over 2,000 fucking dollars on this shit. And this what happens. Maybe shit can happen at finals. Maybe something can change at finals. But honestly, I, when I was on stage, I was just like, yo, I'm not coming back to finals. Like, I'm like, honestly, y'all gonna disrespect me to the point y'all got people in first call outs that I look fucking way better than. Like, not even just on some shit like, oh, I look better than him. Like, no, bro, I did a comparison. I'm honest with myself. I look fucking better than niggas, but come on, bro. Like, I'm gonna show up for finals just for sportsmanship purposes, but honestly, it, it's draining, you know, but it is what it is. Honestly, if I don't go pro, I'm gonna take some time off, do my own thing. I don't know if I'm gonna compete again as far as this NPC shit because this, obviously, is corny. Like, something ain't right with it. But, uh, Regardless, I'm gonna still be doing fitness and doing my thing and enjoying it because I love to lift and everything And what's gonna have a good time this weekend regardless of the results and everything, but uh I'll be back with y'all at um Finals, finals, oh, yeah 233, Andy McDonald 242, John Moore 250, Nimaj Reyes 252, Dion Smith Let's be our top five 237, Corey Tiller. Let's go! So, we did not get top five, and anything out of top five is them the same place, and so I don't really care the exact place I got. It was last place. But anyway, uh, I don't know what to think. Obviously, it's exhausting. Obviously, I'm not happy with it, but you know, you just gotta embrace it. That's what it is, you know. Uh, same way I embrace my wins, I'm gonna embrace my losses. I'm gonna learn from it, you know. That's the only thing I can do. This is not like a sport where I'm out there punching somebody out or racing somebody to get the win. It's like, it's very subjective. And that's just what it is, you know? Sometimes they like your physique, sometimes they hate your physique, but you just gotta take it as it is and, you know, make the decision on what you wanna do. Like, right now I'm feeling down and I'm just like, fuck it, but I know that's a emotional decision and a heat of the moment. So I'm just gonna take some time off to really think about what I wanna do next and uh, of course, I'm gonna still upload on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, really do my thing with that. I'll have more time, you know, I'm about to go to Mexico, so we're gonna get some footage and stuff there. We're gonna have a good time. And also, I got my family here. I got my little brother behind the camera. I got my cousin right there, my best motherfucking friend. Y'all know him, that's Grizz. He hasn't been on the channel in a while. If you're a real supporter, you know where the fuck Grizz is. But we're about to go get some pizza. About to put my Air Force Ones on, get it fresh. And we gonna have a good night. I might drink some Elky, but I took a diuretic, so I might die. But fuck it. I don't care if I die. It's just lost. If I'm not good enough to win, why am I good enough to live? It's like I'm talking crazy, but we about to eat good. A real slice. First slice of pizza in a long time. And y'all know I love pizza. That's all I ate during off season. And I haven't had it in so long because my coach said I couldn't have cheese. And anytime I had a cheat meal, I couldn't eat cheese. So he don't let me have cheese. He's a fuck, cause he's a jerk. It's like Kevin's a goat, but y'all about to witness. Zoom in, you gotta zoom in on this bite. Italian sausage, pepperoni. Sorry to my Muslim homies, I'm not Muslim, I just have a lot of Muslim friends. I don't have the discipline to give up bacon to be Muslim. But. Mexico tomorrow boy Que lo que It is Dion and we are in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico And this is crazy Look at this Look at this beautiful view From our room This view 
is insane. Absolutely crazy. Check out the wrong way with 30 right now. So. Look at this. Look how neat this is. They left us some Mexican snacks. Definitely might try those. The only bad thing is I gotta make an appointment to work out at the little fitness gym facility. So that might not be happening today. So today will be full of eating and drinking alcohol and chilling. Honestly, it's probably a good thing. I need a little break from the gym, you know? Especially after what just happened. But, we'll see. I'm still excited to get in. Que lo que, Dion. And I've been in Cabo for like three days and I have not vlogged or recorded anything. I've been eating like a fucking pig. I've been on like 30 pounds, probably. Like, I've just been eating and eating and I'm sick and tired of eating. Uh, the food they got at this resort. I really want Domino's, but I don't know. We'll see. Like, it's been the same thing, but I think this breakfast will be something different today because it's like American breakfast and it's rum service, so that'll be good. But I worked out this morning. That was great. Check check out the views. Check. And I'm gonna take y'all with me down there today to um, just chill. The drinks are nonstop. Uh, whatever you know with me. And I'm also talk to y'all about. What's next as far as this bodybuilding thing? Like, I've had time to kind of, let me sit down. I've had a little time to just kind of like, sit down and sort of think about like, what I want to do next and what's a plan. Not 100% the plan, but you know, like what's kind of next. Uh, you know, I, I was, it was very heartbroken with the show and the results. I felt like I was overlooked, I felt like, I didn't even get a chance. I felt like I was one of the better physiques there, and I, you know, I didn't even. I felt unnoticed, you know. Um, and a part of me is like, yo, how can I take this shit seriously? Like, this is a joke, whatever. But at the same time, man, if you really want something in life, you gotta really keep going for it. You know what I mean? People lose all the time. They get overlooked over time. You know, they say they need to improve here or there or just whatever, and. Quitting, you know, you won't ever get there. So if I really want this, I gotta, you know, just get back to it, improve on where you said I need to improve, get better and go back literally just cause like, yeah, I'll have to go through prep again, eight, 10, 12 weeks of hell and it'll hurt and it'll suck, but fuck it. If I want to be pro, if I want to do this for a career, for a living, it's just what I got to do. I don't want to have to go through that process again because I felt like I was so close and I was dead and I should have got the pro card. But things didn't happen that way. And, you know, they say it's God's plan. Like, literally, it wasn't my time, you know. It's just not my time. And it will be my time. A lot of part, a part of me was literally just stressing because, like, damn, I wanted to be pro before 25. And that still probably can happen, but with the plan I have now. I probably will be 25 when I do get my pro card, but regardless, you know, I'm still kind of young, whatever. Five years from 30, so in my mind, it's kind of like shit, damn, they old. But anyway, it's gonna happen, you know. It's a marathon, just like Nipsey Hussle says. It's a marathon. It's not a race. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, you know. So we're gonna get to it. We're gonna improve. Who knows? Maybe I'll just keep getting bigger and go to classic, or I don't know. But one thing for sure is pro is what's happening. Whether it's this year, whether it's next year, it's happening. It's definitely happening. So don't count your boy out. I'm gonna make it happen. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this breakfast. It's from service. I'll, I'll show y'all what it is. Y'all can eat with me. Maybe y'all can watch me eat. Some people on the internet like watching people eat, put shit in their mouth and chew it. I think it's disgusting, but pause. But some people like that. It's starting to sound weird, but like, yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast. Got down to the beach and let me show y'all just how beautiful it is. And 
that's where I'm gonna be sitting. We're chilling here. And I got snacks for the moment. I'm about to get into that. Water. And this will be filled with like five Long Island iced teas today. So I might get a little drunk. But yeah, these are the vibes for today. Oh shit. Yo, I ain't gonna say that to y'all, but um, I'm drunk as fuck. And uh. Fuck. I'm drunk as fuck. Wait, wait, wait. I'm drunk as fuck. And I've been having a good time out here. Hey, let me tell you about life and balance, right? If you don't have balance, like you're always just on some bodybuilding shit, like eat protein and your macros. Yo, fuck that shit, nigga. Listen, let me tell you something. Fuck that. Off season, you can, you can give yourself time to have fun and enjoy it. If you're always on some bodybuilding shit, like hit this macro, hit that macro, go to sleep at 9 p.m., you're gonna be fucking miserable as fuck. Don't do that, don't do that. You know, at least one week of the month, go out, get fucking drunk, and then have fucking fun in Cabo. Look at this shit, I'm enjoying it. But you know what? I'll be back to the diet and back to everything as soon as fucking possible. You cannot starve yourself, you cannot deprive yourself of fun, because you will not like this shit. You, you know, I'm meeting good people out here, good people from Dallas, Good people from Jersey, good people from New York, good people from Connecticut, good people from Mass. You know, you gotta enjoy yourself. You gotta love this shit, you know what I mean? You gotta enjoy life. You can't just be in that bodybuilding shit. Oh, my macros. Nigga, suck a thing. Fuck a macro. You can't be in that shit all the time. You'll fucking kill yourself. So enjoy it. Drink some fucking alcohol. Cycle off, motherfucker. But this couple yep. tried to get me to have a threesome with them. I said no, absolutely. I'm not about that life. I just want to go to my room and go to sleep. And they said, we'd love to have you with us. They told me to give me five hundred dollars. I said, I already have five hundred dollars. They see you're the big bull. And I said, I just walked away because I felt uncomfortable. I said, look, ten k at the least, and I'll see what I can do. Ten k. They wasn't with 10K, and I got the fuck out of there. Hey, look at how, look at hell is shrimp in here. You know this thing, know. you know this thing ain't free. Come on now. 500? It's green garbage. What the fuck I look like, a hooker? 10K. Okay, look okay. My apologies. I ain't gonna lie. I did not film the rest of that trip in Mexico, right? Yo, listen. I was going through it. Like, I was going through so many emotions. I went through so many emotions of... Am I gonna compete again? Should I even take this thing seriously? Is this shit a joke? Like just so many things like that, that it took me a while to like, just be like, yo, at the end of the day, this is the sport of, you know, subjective. It's people judging your physique, you know? You never know, you're not in control of it. But at the end of the day, I'm a competitor. And that's what I do, and that's what I like, and that's what I enjoy. Prep is hard and you hate it while you're in it, but it just become addictive like I'm a competitor you know that's what it is and I'm gonna always compete and I am gonna go pro and then when I'm pro I'm gonna compete as a pro I'm not gonna be one of those guys who just get a pro card and just whatever like I'm gonna be a competitor and that's what I always do so right now the goal is Miami in December take some time off you know get my body a rest from different things from just everything you know and then in December you know Miami Nationals and back to it but right now I'm headed to crunch um, I'm still here, still here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm um, going to go to Crunch. And right now, I'm getting some mods in, and I got the bang, the watermelon bang. How often have you seen a watermelon bang? Like yo, this is watermelon. It's like the best fruit. And if you don't think watermelon is the best fruit, you're out of your mind. Like literally, like how can you say that? Watermelon, grapes, oranges, apples. But watermelon number one. Anyway, about to go here. 
and we about to get a session get a few clips in it then oh shit it was a big ass beetle look at that thing bro literally just landed uh! <laughs> cars move but yo we headed to the gym we're gonna get some clips and then i'm also talk to y'all again after show y'all my post workout but um let's get to it man all right so first chest and shoulder session back they said i had weak chest i need to bring up my chest that's what they said so i'm gonna bring it up the heaviest they got in here is 125 so we're gonna start off that flat and then we go to incline and then we're gonna do, do all the shoulder shit but y'all gonna see everything Yeah. 